Good morning and welcome to day 22 of our Route 40 journey together. And this morning we are going to look at the uh, look at 1 Peter, uh, the first chapter, and listen to the word of our Lord as we study. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of, Im- of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. For all men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord stands forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. You know, on our journey of Route 40, this journey of the mind, body, and spirit, we have been focusing this week on the evidence of our relationship with Christ. Just yesterday, we talked about the love action that Christ challenges us to do, feeding the sheep. But today, we want to talk about the experience of living in covenant. You see, one of the things that's most powerful powerful about Peter's words is the content that God has loved us, and it's through God's actions that we have been reborn. You see, we're not reborn because of our own action or awareness or because we choose Christ. We are reborn because God sent us the revelation of Scripture. His Word is what gives us a rebirth. The sending of His Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross for our sins is our rebirth. The privilege and the joy that we experience is our awareness that we are in relationship with a covenantal God, that His Word is imperishable, that His love is impenetrable, and there's nothing that will ever separate us from Him. You see, the rebirth has taken place. It's our opportunity just to start celebrating. You know, it reminds me of when we were infants and and there were times, or when we were children, and there were times that we were cared for by our parents or by guardians, and we weren't even aware that we were being cared for, that we were being nurtured, that we were being loved. We just grew up. You see, that's how our relationship with God is. God has been present with us throughout our entire lives, and now we get the privilege of being aware of it. We get the privilege of hearing the Word, and we get the privilege of living a joyous life in relationship with Him. The rebirth has taken place. Take it, grab hold of it, and live it as fuel for your life in Christ. Let us pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, you have reborn us to you. You have given us the privilege of, to come back, to experience your greatness and your, and your joy. And this has been a privilege and an opportunity that we've had our entire lives, God. It, it, it occurred long before we ever were on this earth, before we were ever born. You made us right through the revelation of your word in scripture, and through the gift of your son, Jesus Christ. Let us embrace that birth. Let us live with that. Let us make it part of our lives and know that the joy that we experience is the imperishable, covenantal, impenetrable love of Jesus Christ. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Have a great day. And God bless.